Those who face domestic violence may be afraid to seek help due to several reasons. And I think, uh, first of all, there is a stigma about this. Uh, for example, the person uh, is too afraid to come out in the open because he or she may feel that it will bring shame to the family. So as a result, uh, the victim of the of domestic violence remains in denial that it is actually happening in his or her family. Uh, secondly, victims of uh, domestic violence may not want to seek help because uh, the perpetrator of the violence uh, could be the sole breadwinner of the family. So maybe there's a fear that uh, if I seek help, then this family will no longer have a breadwinner. So for example, uh, a housewife who is worried about not just herself but especially the future of her children, so she may choose to remain silent on the issue and suffer in silence. Uh, a third reason could be um, worries about retaliation from the abuser or the perpetrator of the violence. So again, you know, uh, an abused housewife may not want to seek help because she fears retaliation. But I think um, most importantly uh, is because um, victims are not empowered. Maybe they're not aware that there are channels for help. For example, family service centers, organizations such as PAVE, whose uh, focus is on uh, helping victims of domestic violence and their families, uh, or Casa Rauda. So they may not know where to go to seek help. They may not even want to go to the police. You know? So I think these are among the reasons about why people hesitate to seek help. Definitely, if it's physical, you can see um, a lot uh, the physical harm that causes. The emotional harm is so much greater than the physical. Physical, you can heal, you know. Then, inshallah, you can move on. But the emotional harm is um, is really um, so great that I've had uh, wives looking into having suicidal thoughts because they couldn't cope with it. Um, children being being involved in it, seeing that that is the norm, they may learn that that is, they may assume that that is what is the uh, the right thing to do. That is the only way, you know, because parents as role model, they see it as okay. That's how we handle, and they may grow up with that, subconsciously or consciously, and that is the fear, because victims of abuse, uh, when they see. The daughters may think that that is how I should be treated and subconsciously they may look for a husband who can be abusive to them. Similarly, uh, the sons, if the abuse, uh, and right now you have wife abusing the husband, right? So if the son is seeing it, they might subconsciously look for wives who are like that. So the impact is definitely tremendous. Uh, putting a stop to it not only help yourself, you are also helping the person, the abuser because you are helping him to put a stop to his cycle. You are helping him to learn to control. Um, you are helping your children, your future children from experiencing this. So I think, you know, just if you have been involved in it uh, and if you are in a relationship with it, you need to help yourself your partner, your children, you need to help them to put a stop to violence. I would say that any form of harm that is uh, committed against a woman could possibly form some form of domestic violence. It could be mental uh, abuse, it could be physical abuse, it could be any form of uh, battery against the body. Now, uh, I would also add that more worrying is that more worrying uh, in the current situation is that many women don't realize that they are in abusive relationships or they are in a, in a relationship which uh, is violent and it's unhealthy and they do not know it and they are trapped in such relationships. All 
response, our response, or rather big love response to that is really report it. Uh, go to the nearest family service center, go to the nearest police station, uh, you know, or, or, or even call the uh, specialist centers um, if there are child protection concerns. Yeah, uh, report it to the appropriate channel. Yeah, um, or encourage the individual or family to seek help. Yeah, uh, really at this point in time, you know, in our neighborhood, there's family service center that is easily accessible. Just go down and report it. So, if you are facing um, family violence, um, you can actually put a stop to it by taking the first step. Um, the important thing is seek help, uh, go out and do something for yourself, for your children, for your family. So inshallah, um, you, there are available help out there um, that is ever willing to help you deal with the situation. Yeah. So inshallah, just seek help.